Yo, man. Y'all know we got none other. Shout out to my boy NBA 2K Labs for coming in. I don't know if he's still in here, but he was in here earlier. <laughs> uh, shout out to NBA 2K Lab. Y'all already know what to do, man. Go hit that fucking like button. And after you hit that like button, sub up if you really enjoy the content. One thing about NBA 2K Lab, I think them niggas some secret agents. I don't know how they know all this shit. They be finding out shit that ain't even findable. You feel me? So, man, if you're not subbed up to 2K Lab, you're definitely going to miss out on a lot of exclusive um, badges, exclusive content, because they're going to show you which bad worked the best. You know, I ain't going to lie. I definitely was watching 2K Lab last year when it came to um, not using some of them fucking gold and Hall of Fame badges. I found out, nigga, I could just put this bitch on with silver. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, 2K Lab definitely do a good job. Now, today, 2K Lab is going to be talking about the NBA 2K template bills and where are they ranking the bills at. Um, it's very interesting that I look at this thumbnail and I see that the LaMelo template is in a C. Now, when we first looked at this, I thought that LaMelo template was actually pretty nice, but he got it in the C category. Now, we're going to find out if this just the thumbnail or he really believe it's a fucked up template. So, and like I say, this dude, they got a team. They got a team that go out and find out all this shit. They test all this shit. So they, if, they know some shit. If he said go up, it's a C, then that's a high chance we can take their advice on it. it's a C. So let's see what he got to say. What is good, everybody, and welcome back to another 2K Lab video. I'm sure by now you guys have heard of the new NBA player template build. And as you... Yo. 2K Labs, have y'all ever thought about going for legends? Y'all got a motherfucking team of niggas that can grind one account? Hey, look at all the niggas that going for top 10. Man, that going on. What are you telling that fuck shit for? What you saying that for? That's what most niggas do anyway. We haven't seen a real authentic legend since 2K15. That's my opinion. No disrespect to anybody that ever hit legend after 2K15. But my opinion, we haven't seen one nigga grind his account by himself since 2K15. Now, I could be wrong. I ain't shitting on nobody. I could be wrong. But I think Red City Boy was the last in the first legend. Because <laughs> after my... No, 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 no. I'm talking about first. I'm talking about number one. You can hit legend and, and not be number one. Uh, I'm, I'm, talking about, I'm talking about this race thing. See, y'all finna see what I'm talking about with 2K24. That one used to be a race. That used to be a race. Now, um, it, was 2K23 really a race? Uh, I don't know. Um, Finn, um, me personally, I think the first time he hit it, 2K, what that was, 2K17? I don't really know. I don't really know. You know what I'm saying? Just because, bro, a lot of people was cheating. So, I don't know, though. I, I'm not saying Sin cheated, but I, I, I don't know. Because after 2K15, nigga was starting to figure out that you could actually cheat. So, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think Sin cheated. I think he did it authentic, but I'm just going to stand on what I said. You know what I'm saying? I think 2K15 was the first authentic legend and the last authentic legend. That's my opinion. Um, that just is what it is. That's my opinion. I ain't shitting on no nigga, but I, I know, man, everybody was starting to figure it out. Everybody was, everybody started figuring it out that, um, hey, man, I can put another motherfucking on my account? She, okay. Nigga was figuring it out. Make these NBA player template builds, you receive all of their animations, including their jump shot and their dribble moves. Or free at a 60 overall, no requirements needed. Lucky for you guys, we put all of these builds in a tier list based on their usability in online plays such as Rec and Park, so that we could help you guys pick the best one. And all of these NBA player template builds will be on our website at NBA2KLab.com. So if you're ready for- Hey bro, hold up, dog. Hold up, bro. Have anybody seen that motherfucker, bro? Y'all know the motherfucker I'm talking about, bro. Have anybody seen that motherfucker I'm talking about? I'm talking about what the fuck is current gen news? <laughs> My dog. What's going on with current gen news? 
Bro, I don't even think y'all got a game for real. I think y'all just got a park, bro. An island just walk around on, bro. I don't even. Bro, where's y'all news? And if I was a. Bro, if I was a current gen player, I would be causing mayhem right now. Where the fuck is your news? Dog. Man, I know y'all gotta be sick, bro. They don't even give a fuck about showing you nothing. <sighs> Dog. Hey, listen. Shout out to 2K. <laughs> Dude, 2K, we appreciate you fucking with Nate Gen real heavy. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to 2K. God. Yeah, bro, if I was on current gym, my dude, I'd be on Twitter typing right now. All you current gym niggas should go on Twitter right now and cause mayhem. The man news. <laughs> man, y'all got one piece of news, and that was the goddamn, hey, here y'all go. Goddamn it, shit. Oh, man, I'm so tired of motherfuckers. Did y'all drop that little trailer for the motherfuckers? Them niggas ain't got a next gen system yet. Somebody go drop that damn trailer for them. Shit. Maybe they'll sit their ass down somewhere. Man, them people throw y'all a little trailer and dip. <laughs> Yo, shout out to 2K for fucking with next gen, man. I right, listen, I apologize. I apologize, but uh, you know what I'm saying? Listen, current gen, you know, or last gen, how y'all would say it. You know what I mean? Like, come on, dog. Like, go turn your PlayStation 4 in. For, you get about $50 for it. You put that 50 on an Xbox Series S, which is the cheapest. You can get an Xbox Series S for about $150, $200, bro. Man, come on, dog. So, you put a 50 on it. Now, you got to pay for about $100 or $150. No, come on, man. Put that motherfucker down, man. Put the current gen shit down, dog. The last gen, whatever the fuck. PS4, you Xbox 360, niggas. Man, come on. Come on, dog. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Like, go turn your PlayStation 4 in, bruh, and get a new system, dog. Come on, bruh. What you doing, bruh? You know the hoe is about to blow up. My nigga, how long have you had it? You still gonna play it? All right. Don't be mad at 2K for not putting out no news for that old ass game. I'm just saying, bruh. Xbox One, oh my bad, I thought it was the 360. God damn, I I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> Today's video, go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys want more content damn. like this, and comment oh. down below your favorite oh, NBA template. Shit. That all being said, let's go ahead and get into it. The very first build is LaMelo Ball. Now he does have a good frame being 6'7 with a 6'10 wingspan, good finishing and good shooting attributes. With having an amazing pass accuracy and really solid playmaking, he lacks on the defensive end. I feel like this template build could do really well if it's surrounded by good defenders. With having solid scoring and very solid- See, I like this template, I ain't gonna lie. Like out of all the point guards, I like this one the best for me. Um. 83 speed with ball, 87 ball handling, 84 acceleration. Uh, I got 71 perimeter defense. Now, like I said, we got to understand that the new bills, the new bills are different. You can't have a whole lot. Out of all the point guard templates, which one y'all like the best? Out of all the point PG templates. I think this is my favorite one. You get an 80, 83 driving dunk, 88 driving layup. I like this one. Boy, it's the template wise. I get a 95 pass accuracy. <laughs> Definitely going to exploit that. I don't know. You say you like the K's? Are oh, you talking about that Cunningham dude? But playmaking and pass snackers. Yeah, his template, his template was good. It does rely on people around him to Fox. play decent defense. So we're going to put him in the A tier, but almost in the S tier. Okay. So he put... See, so the thumbnail tricked me. NBA 2K layout tricked me with the thumbnail. So he actually put LaMelo Ball in the A tier, but on the thumbnail, he was in the C tier. Okay, I figured that nigga LaMelo was pretty high. Up next, we have Jalen Brunson coming with a 90 driving layup, a 94 mid-range, an 85 three-point rating for bronze limitless range. Some very solid playmaking attributes. That ain't bad, though. It just, he's short, though. See, this, like I said, once again, the way that 2K24 build system is set up, I, I, I don't see this as a horrible template. 
You know what I'm saying? And once again, we got to understand the purpose of the templates, y'all. They can help people out that are not that good at making decent bills. So they, you know, get a template to help them understand what they sh may be looking for or some shit like that. It's not bad to me. But we see the defensive side of him definitely lacks in his physicals with 82 acceleration and 82 speed while being short at 6'2 I feel is way too slow. So being short, slow, not able to dunk the basketball efficiently with below average defense. I, I like what he said though. I like what he said. I want to highlight that. For him to be 6'2 and only have an 82 acceleration, yeah, that would make me, you know, I like the other shit, 94 mid, 90 driver layup. We are no layups going to be OP. If you don't know that, uh, you can get ready for it. You can get ready for it. With that layup meter, I will be using the layup meter this year. I will be. I, I never use it, but this year I will be. Um, he got an 85 three ball, 87 uh, ball handling. You know, so the, the 82 acceleration. But like I said, another thing is you can tweak these bills also, but if you tweak them, you lose the animation. Yo. Uh, what I'm interested in more than anything about the templates is how much they're going to fucking cost. I wonder how much is 2K going to sell you a template for more, being that you're getting the animations for free? Well, not for free, being that they come with the animations? I can't wait to see the price on these templates. I can't wait. Do y'all think they're going to be expensive or they're going to be the same price as a regular bill. No, I don't, but we don't know if we're going to save money on animations because we don't know. We don't know if 2K going to factor in the amount of money that, a, that the animation would cost separately. They could factor it in in the entire bill. So we don't know that. I think it's going to be expensive, though. But I'm not sure, though. We will find out. If, it's, if it costs the same amount as a regular bill, I think it's a W. I think it's a W. Any template. But if it costs more, I'll be a little hesitant. I'll just go make my own goddamn bill. Because I don't need all them damn animations. But if it costs the same price, I can be like, okay, I can see. That's cool. But niggas that can't make bills that good, I think it, it's, it could be a plus for you. But at the same time, it's definitely going to be um, a, a good avenue for 2K to make some goddamn money. Because, you know, a lot of niggas going to try to, I want to get me a bill that. Did you? Yeah. Can you go copy everything that this man got and go over to the creative player of the shit, make a bill? Would you be able to copy everything he got? One for yes, two for no. Because if I can copy everything he got, why the fuck do I need to make him? Well, I get all his animations. That would be the only thing. If I can just go copy this nigga. Yes, you can, cut, you can customize the template. But if you customize them, you lose all the animations. So if you change anything about them, you lose the animations. See, that's what I was thinking. You need the face scan with the template. I think the face scan with the template will uh, make it more of a, 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 a appealing to me. If you was to give me the face scan of, hey, I'm making a Kevin Durant, and I got the entire Kevin Durant, that's more appealing than me just making a nigga that have the template of, Hey, this is Chris Paul. Man, what the fuck that mean to me? I can just go copy the stats. But I don't know. Can you copy the stats? Save time. Save time. Man, you will get your lazy ass. Yo, play what? Stop being lazy. I'm just saying, though, I don't know none of these things. These are just questions that I have. I just, I'm just thinking. Can I copy the exact stats and go make them? That's a question I have. Um, how how expensive it would be? That's the question I have. So I, I have those two questions would determine if I want to make a template or not.
See, if I can't copy him, that will make this um more of a thing. But if I can just copy him, if I can just say, okay, 9690, and put all that shit over there on my bill, then, you know, it's useless. Right. So we'll we'll see. We'll see how much they cost. Are we able to copy it? That's gonna be some of the things that I'm gonna look for within the templates. The free animation, but like I said, we don't know if they're free or not because we don't know if they're gonna factor it in. Are we gonna pay for the animations? They say they're free, but if the if the bill, is the template bill is gonna cost the same as when we go make our own bill. That's the thing that I wanna know. 82 acceleration and 82 speed while being short at 62. He said, who cares? A lot of people are gonna go make templates. But see, that's what I'm saying though. We don't know yet though. We don't know. I feel is way too slow. So being short, slow, not able to dunk the basketball efficiently with below average defense, I think we're gonna put him at the C tier. Up next, we have Cade Cunningham. Now For everybody that have 2K24 on their PlayStation, um, you can update it. You can update it and download it now, but you cannot play it until 12 p.m. Thursday, well Friday, right? Thursday night, Friday, Friday morning. If I was y'all, I would have just waited to go to GameStop. I understand some of y'all say y'all don't like the disc, but at GameStop you get the game either at 8 p.m. Thursday or 9 p.m. Thursday. So you know. Not trying to hurt your feeling, but it kind of L to buy it on the PlayStation or the Xbox. But you, you got it, though, so that's all that matters. What's wrong with waiting an extra three hours? You probably don't need it that bad, no way. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he has decent finishing, 85 driving layup, can still dunk the ball. He is 6'7", so he has a good frame with a 90 mid-range rating and an 8. But you're not going to be able to play it today, my boy. Believe me. It might say today, you won't be playing that motherfucker today. <laughs> 83 point rating. Solid playmaking and passing accuracy. And this build does get some defensive rebound and some perimeter defense while having decent physicals while it's missing no. out on strength. The servers does not, does not open at the same time. People send New Zealand, Australia, things like that. They will be playing their game before everybody else. That's why most people say they're going to New Zealand. They're going to go over to Xbox and change their servers. What's good, my G? Salute. Um, so people in the U.S., we will have to wait until 9 p.m. or 8 p.m. or 12, depending on what your store. Every store is different. Every store is different. Like my G Prime said his store is going to give it to him at 8 p.m. My store is going to give it to me at 9 p.m. You know what I'm saying? What's good, big dog? Boy, you came back on a hell of a game last night. God damn it. He said, um. You're gonna have to wait. I would put him in an A tier, but a Thanks. lower A tier. Now on to Luka Doncic. He has a decent layup rating at 87. Can still dunk the basketball. Has an 86 mid range rating, 83 point rating. A very very good passing accuracy, coming at 96. He gets a decent ball handle, especially being 6'7. But his speed with ball is low. See, this is why I'm I'm so curious, bro, of how 2K24 is actually set up, y'all. Luka. It's a very prominent NBA superstar. How will a person like Luca fare out online? How, you know what I'm saying? He got a 75 acceleration. No, he got a 73 strength. So I'm thinking Luca gonna be more of a bulldozer type of build. Cause I mean, that's, that's his kind of his play style. Luca do bully little guards. You know what I'm saying? He got an 83 ball, an 86 mid. He got a 71 dunk. He got an 84 close shot, 87 drive layup. I don't know how. See, this is what I'm scared of. I don't want y'all to get out there and you make a bill with a fucking 75 acceleration. But see, he got a 73 scrimp. I don't know, bro. Like I said, this is why I don't I don't really want to get so deep into the bills yet because we don't really know how it will fare out in the game. We don't know. We don't know how the game will actually manifest with these bills, with the attribute numbers. 
Will a slow, powerful bill be good this year? That's what I'm saying. This is a slow, powerful bill. How good will he be at creating? Will he have to run and pick and roll with a bill like this? I don't know. It's going to be very interesting to see. Along with his defense, he is also a slow player, so I don't know how that will work in the NBA 2K24. So Although he does have close control with a high mid-range and a high pass accuracy, so in the right hands, he is very usable. Overall, I'm going to go ahead and put him in the B tier, but... So he put that motherfucker in the B column. Oh, let me move this out the way, my bad. He put that motherfucker in the B column. <laughs> he put that motherfucker in the A column. Like I said, in the right hands can be very deadly. Now, De'Aaron Fox is one of the faster player templates we have in today's video. He has an elite layup rating with 91, a 75 driving duck, a 77 three-point rating, an 87 ball handle with a 90. Now, in my opinion, I think most guard bills going to be similar to this. But hey, for my young G in here that was advocating for this shitty ass bill right here. I think, me personally, more, more guard bill is going to look similar to this. Around a 70-some perimeter. I just don't... Listen, I know I'm talking my shit. I'm going to leave y'all alone. I'm going to leave y'all alone. I'm just saying, in my personal opinion, I think this is going to be the prototype for most guards. I, I could be wrong, but I think it's going to be something similar to this. I think it's going to be something similar to this. Field ball. He is very fast being 6'3", but again, on defense, only the 71 perimeter defense, and having a shorter frame at 6'3", I feel like this build will be very useful. 6'3 with a 6'6 wingspan. In a drive and kick situation. But since he has a lower three pointer and a lower defense, we're going to go ahead and put him in the B tier. Put him Scoop in the B Henderson tier. Henderson being 6'2, but has an 89 driving dunk, so he does get contact dunk animations. A 75 three point rating with a 73 mid range rating. All around decent playmaking, and he has fast with a high speed with ball, but definitely a lower pass and accuracy that we've seen while having a very low perimeter defense. This thing got a 90 speed with ball and an 87 acceleration. Got a 75 3. Hmm. Interesting. 6 2 with a 6 7 wingspan. Hmm. I don't know, man. Like I said, bro, I don't know how motherfuckers gonna make their bill. I don't know, bro. Y'all, like, like. Once again, type one, if we understand that the build system is way more restricted than 2K23. So it's not like you finna go max out your finishing, max out your shooting, max out your playmaking, then max out defense, then max out physical. You're going to have to take some hits. I'm just saying. So you got to say, do I want to be not that fast with speed with ball? Do, do, and listen, you got to think about the animations. You got to think about the animations. If you want to get some of these. What they say, we don't know yet, y'all. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. They say the good animation is going to have, you're going to have to put up more of your attributes. They say, so, will low attributes give you good animations? That's going to be the key. That's going to be the key. Can a nigga put on a 75, 80 speed with ball, I mean ball handling, and the animation still be nice? That's going to be the key. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to the animations having a little steal decent physicals all around i'm gonna go ahead and put him in the b tier next is drew holiday with an 80 layup rating a 60 dunk 83 point is rating gonna 85 kill in this game? ball handle he can still we don't know we and see once uh, once again another problem that we have in 2k is speed 2k has never ever had balanced speed other than 2k 16. Now, only one time i played 2k in my 13 years of playing 2K, was speed balance, and that was 2K 16. Every other 2K, they don't have a balanced skill, a speed. So a nigga with an 80 speed is still running like a motherfucker with 99 speed. So we got to see. He said, I did some of that in 23. Your attribute determines your animation. But, but see, in 2K 23, you got great animation for low attributes. And 2K24, from what they say, what they say, they say you're going to have to have high attributes to get the best animation. So now people are going to have to go out there and be crash dummies and see, 
We'll low animation give them, we'll low attributes give them good animations. But we're gonna see about that. Pass the ball with an 80 pass and accuracy, 75 speed with ball. 2K14, I, I enjoy 2K14, by the way. I think 2K14 is very underrated. Well, he is 6'5", but he gets a 95 perimeter defense along with an 83 steal. I think this is one of the better NBA template builds that we have. He's very well-rounded, can finish at the rim with the 80 driving layup, the 83-point rating. He has the 95 perimeter defense, so we can take care of all situations. Here. So, so 2K Lab, what you know that we don't know? 2K Lab is speaking very highly of this template build. But this motherfucker got a 79 acceleration and an 80 speed. Is that going to be enough to, he don't have shrimp, so it's not like, I don't know, 2K Lab might know something, we don't know, but I tell you what, I tell you what, Anonymous won't make nothing that look like that, a 79 acceleration, man, I kicked that bill up his ass. <laughs> He needs to take care of i would put him in a high a tier wow. up next we have Kyrie irving with an insane 90. he put him in the a tier what you know we'll know 2k lab once again uh most of the time 2k lab know what the fuck he talking about it ain't too many times we gonna not know not not take his advice uh mm -hmm. 79 acceleration to 80 speed for that bill. I don't know. That's gonna be interesting. I don't I, I shit. I don't think I'm gonna make no shit like that. But if he put him in the A column, mm. one at driving layup and a 98 ball handle for Hall of Fame unpluckable alongside a 91 mid-range rating. Now he is 6'2 with little to no defense, but he does have decent physicals, a really good mid-range rating and a very good layup rating. He can protect the ball at a high level, but again, very little to no defense. I would put him in a mid A tier. Westbrook coming in at 6'3 with an 83 driving dunk and 82 driving layup. Oh no, I'm lost now. Let me see, hold on, let me check that out one more time. So he put, Wait, Kyrie, he put Kyrie in the A column. Uh, he put Fox in the B column. I don't know. Coming in at six. I don't know. Because like I said, now he did go out and play the game, but, you know, I don't have a much faith in the game that they said they just made up and threw together. I don't know, goddamn. I don't know at this point. Um. Whew. Uh -uh. Y'all think they did rush like this because he getting older? Three with an 83 driving dunk and 82 driving leg. Oh, he definitely do got Hall of Fame unpluckable, and he got he got 99 stamina too. Yep, a 73 point rating, so definitely the lowest that we've seen yet. A lower passing accuracy at 77, and below average defense. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I like this build. If I can tweak it to get me a higher three ball, I'll fuck with this build. If I can figure out a way to tweak this motherfucker, bro, to get. A 75 or 77 or 78 three ball. I'll fuck with it, motherfucker. But I already know when I get the tweaking shit, I'm going to lose some shit. This build will be nice if a 73 ball is, is really good. If a 70, because this, listen, my way instead of 75 three ball, you can be dangerous with it. If a 73 ball is decent, I'll fuck with this build. But if the 73 ball is ass, Hell no. No, if I can tweak my close shot without losing some some driving dunk, I tweak that motherfucker all the way down to get me some driving dunk. And then I gotta try to put up my three ball. But see, it's a lot of stuff connected this year. I don't know, man. How far can I take that close shot down? Because my nigga, who do I don't need no motherfucking close shot? Oh, I'm taking that post control down. For real, for real, I'm taking that shit down. I don't play in the goddamn post. Fuck what Russ talking about. Oh, yeah. I feel you. If I can tweak this bitch right here, give me that post, taking that sh close shot down, give me some three ball, I fuck with that. But then I still have to see what type of badges I'm getting, too. I want a little more interior. I mean, I probably don't need no more interior. I might take, take that blocking shit off. I'm getting rid of that blocking.
might get rid of the offense rebound, but then that might hit me on the defense rebound. Uh, do I? I don't know. I think I'll get rid of that post scoring, get rid of that close shot, and then I'll and I'll take away that blocking. If they if they if they allow me to without messing with anything else, I try to go get me a seventy seven three ball. Russ do need higher rebound. I ain't gonna even cap on that, but you know it is a template. You know it's a video game. I feel you though. He does have some defense, and his physicals are looking pretty solid. All around, I would put him in a mid B tier, definitely. Nah, hold on, I'm confused in the motherfucker. Well, I guess because he got what he got low shooting. Okay, I guess that's fair. Though. Next, we have Trey Young coming in at 6 1 with a 91 driving layup, an 85 three point running for bronze on this range. See, what it is, I think, to, to be honest, I think it's a preference. The way that, the way I'm listening to this, I'm hearing it, and I think it's a preference. I don't know if it's based off of how good they actually could be because, for well, one, we haven't gotten a real game. You know, so I think more so, I think, I, I think in my opinion, I think it's more so a preference now. What y'all think? The 95 ball handle for all the dribble moves in the game. But remember, his NBA template build gets all of his Trey Young signature mm. sigs. It's below average defense, but still holding that 87 acceleration. So fitting into that small guard meta category while still having wow. some. Wow. Wow. Brody said. So, with it being more strict this year, shouldn't the player cost a lower amount of VC to max out this year? Whew. Let's put that on Twitter, my name. Let's copy that. We're going to put that on Twitter. Brody said, being that the players are going to be more restricted, shouldn't they cost less? We're putting that on Twitter. And we got your name in there so they know you said it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that's a good one, boy. That's a good one right there. I like that. That's all about right. He's talking about not happening. <laughs> not happening, Chief. That's all about right, though. That's all about right, though. I ain't gonna okay. The best role moves in the game. I'm gonna go ahead and put him in a low S tier. On to Bradley Beal. Again, another 91 driving layup build, an 81 dunk, a 90 mid range, so we can definitely score with. Type two if you're going for high layups. Type two if you're going for a high driving layup, based on the information you heard so far. That 87 so ball handle, good, a lower speed <laughs> ball while still being shorter on 6'4". Little to no defense, and his physicals mm. are a little slow for a 6'4 build. We're going to go ahead and put him you in a low A tier. Jalen Brown, 87 driving layup, 86 dunk, still gets some post control, an 89 mid-range, and 83 point rating. Can handle the ball and distribute the ball when he needs to. And 85. See, when I look at bills like this, I get worried, bruh. 75 acceleration, 75 speed for a guy like Jalen Brown. We know how efficient Jalen Brown is in the NBA. How does that translate when it comes to the video game, though? Is Jalen Brown a good video game character? You know what I'm saying? This is what I be trying to determine. How what mind frame in 2K in when creating the attributes for the character? Mm. It be worrying me sometimes. I perimeter defense, a 71 steal. It's some defensive rebound. All around decent physicals. I think this will go into the S tier. All around a solid build can handle the rock it, when he it, I, I start to think about what kind of game speed will we have. I, I'm, I get, I get like, I start panicking. Like, where are we going with this? Where's the, where, what state are we in? And then look, he put Jalen Brown in the S tier. See what I'm saying? Like, I'm confused, bro. I ain't gonna lie, dog. I'm confused in the motherfucker. Jalen Brown made it to the S tier. I don't see. I don't know. I can't judge this shit that good. I gotta play the game. His stats look amazing from finishing, shooting, playmaking, playmaking decent. Got a higher perimeter. He got steals. But then when we come down to physical, he ain't got no strength. He got a. I don't know. 
I don't know. I gotta see. I got. I need. I need to play the game. I need to play the game so I can understand what the fuck going on, bro. Because I'm confused every day. Every day I get confused with this shit, man. Go into the S tier. All around, a solid build can handle the rock when he needs to. Know, can bro. play some defense, can finish, and can I'm shoot, especially from the mid-range. Anthony Edwards, 6'4", with a 90 driving dunk, an 83-point rating, so he's a good slasher with a decent, solid three-point rating. Still has that 85 ball handle, 80 spewer ball. Now, now, will we say this build look better than the Jalen Brown build? One for yes, two for no. When we say this build right here, Anthony Edward build looks better than the Jalen Brown build based on the numbers. I would say this build is a little more all around than the other one. So now let's see what tier he put it in. All right, let's look at the Jalen Brown build one more time. Ninety, but it can handle. Right. This is Jalen Brown bill. They got an eighty-five perimeter. That's the only thing that stands out. Look, he got. I'm talking. About, look at physicals, though. All right. Now let's look at this Anthony Edwards bill. I wish I was able to do it side by side. Uh, he dropped a little. He dropped. I mean, he dropped significant. He losing fourteen points on his perimeter defense. He got a less of a midi, but I mean, his physical makes up for what Jalen Brown physical has. Mm. Yeah, yeah Jalen Brown is a better defensive, but but uh, but on but physical physical wise, we looking at Anthony Edwards has better physical. Oh, he's six four. Another one six six. Hmm. Okay. 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 I see. Okay. Y'all. Okay. That makes sense. Why? Why that nigga physical seventy five though? Why Jalen Brown physical seventy five though? Seventy five speed, seventy five acceleration. That's a little. What the motherfucker gonna do with a seventy five acceleration? Is seventy five acceleration fair in two K twenty four? Shit. I ain't. I don't know. I don't fucking know, man. I need a goddamn game already, bro. So we can... When we figure out whether it's a good speed and a good acceleration, that's when we can start to make a bill. Until we figure out this speed shit, where they go... Until we figure out speed boosting and a good number for speed, we ain't gonna know shit us. We can't make a bill without finding out how to, the good amount of speed to have. A good amount of speed boosting to have. So we need acceleration and speed before we can figure out anything else. Three-point rating, so he's a good slasher with a decent, solid three-point rating. He has that 85 ball handle, 80 spewer ball. 75 passing accuracy has all right defense from what we've seen so far today and some slower sigs and some slower physicals him being 6'4 i will put him around a middle a tier josh giddy our first 6'8 mm. build with a 91 driving layup again a 75 i think so too uh raw. passing accuracy at 95 he is an elite passer did some perimeter defense can grab defensive yeah. rebounds a lot of people was talking about this build on twitter for us to template wise. Now, me personally, I don't know. Could this be a. Tell me one if you really like this bill. But for me personally, I don't get nothing from this bill. What's good? What's good, gang? So, Juice? Me personally, I don't know. Now, I like the 95's pass circuitry, but. Then I got a 74 acceleration. I got a 71 perimeter. Yeah, I got defense rebound. I'm 6'8". I don't know. Got an 85 ball handling. I mean, so he going to have what? Gold speed booster? But I ain't go But see, I need to look at the fucking chart. Because ain't gold speed booster tied in with ball handling in acceleration? Or is it, is it just ball handling? 
See, when I make my bill, this is what I'm, I'm going to have next to me when I make my bill. You know, I'm going to my bookmarks. As you can see in my bookmarks, <laughs> I'll bookmark the hell I did, nigga shit. <laughs> Man, I'm going to be ready. You won't catch me slipping. I don't even know if I want to make my build on the screen yet. This is the type of shit I'm going to have with me as I make my build. I'm going to be making my build and looking over at the computer screen. Looking over at the monitor. Making my build. Looking at the monitor. Okay. Woo -woo, woo -woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm going to be able to see it in the game, but I want that spreadsheet too, though. I don't know, my nigga. It's going to get a real look complicated for me, goddammit. As all right physicals for him being 6'8", I would go ahead and put him at a middle A tier. On to Tyler Hero, wow. he has an you 80 driving that? layup and 80. Hey, you said it, uh, it's an A tier, you said it. Seven three-point rating, which is very wealthy. 85 ball handle, some decent but below average defense. Physicals coming around 80 speed, 80 acceleration. I would go ahead and put him in the A tier. Zach Levine coming in with an 85 layup, a 90 driving dunk, 80 Ooh. mid range and three point rating. That Just misses defense. at 80. Zach Levine don't got no defense. That's kind of tough. I, I, Zach, Zach played defense to me. Uh, yeah. I don't know, bro. Listen, all I can say, man. Make your bill at your own. I appreciate that, uh, Amanda. All I can say, man, make the bills at your own risk, man. I mean, <laughs> okay, I'm just thinking about Duncan then. How about that? I'm thinking about Duncan, dog. <laughs> Hey, my bad, my bad. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about Zach Duncan on something. Um, that nigga said that quick. That nigga don't he don't even deserve a 64. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hey, have everybody figured out where they going yet? Elite or rise? Until they come out with the new fucking list, I don't think I can make a decision for me because if they try to change some shit, then I gotta rethink it. My nigga, hey, I, I tried to get Zach some love. Them niggas said, man, Zach don't even deserve a 64, goddammit. <laughs> so y'all going elite? Uh, that's what I'm saying. I gotta, I gotta choose something based on my bill. I can't just choose off the top of my head. Yo, what's good? What's good, uh, big dog? I gotta choose something based on the bill I make, so... As of now, I don't know which, which one I'm going to. I had picked Rise. I mean, I picked Elite at first. Then I changed it to Rise. And then after they said they're going to make changes, I don't know where the fuck I'm going now. Five ball handle threshold. He has an 84. Definitely little to no defense and solid physicals. He is missing out on strength, though, as a slasher. I would put him in a lower A tier, but just that 90 dunk alone while still being able to shoot gets him in there. That man, Austin Reeves, coming in with a 93 mid-range A. Now, I ain't gonna lie, dog. When I, when I first seen this, I was like, whew. 84 acceleration. 76 ball handling. 75 speed with ball. He got an 85 three ball. A 93 midi. Close shot is crazy. He got a, a nice driving layup. For me, I like the 84 acceleration. But then the ball handling ain't going to be able to get them crazy sigs. So if I was to tweak my mid-range, this is how I was thinking when I seen this build. If I'm tweaking my midi, bro, and going to up my ball handling so I can get that gold speed booster. He got a 75 perimeter defense. I think that's a, uh, I can work with a 75 perimeter defense. If, you know what I'm saying? Because if I'm a point guard, of course I'm not going to be able to get the lock badges. But I can get something with a 75, I know. He got a 95 stamina. He got a 75 vert. I mean, I think an 83 defense. I don't know how that's going to look versus a nigga that got 99 speed. I mean, acceleration. But, I mean, once again, I'm, I'm playing. If I'm the point guard, I don't give a fuck about my speed too much. I think, I think, I think you tweak this beard right here a couple of spots, man. Like, that close shot, 94. That mid-range, 93. But at the same time, are these bills worth tweaking, though?
Type one if you think they worth tweaking. If they if we tweak them, would it be better off if we just go make our own bill? See, man. <laughs> this shit get to be a fucking headache, bro. I ain't gonna lie, dog. Like, my nigga, when you really start going through this shit, bro, it really getting to be a fucking headache. Like. Uh. E5 three-point rating has below average playmaking, only a 70 pass, 76 Thanks. ball handle, 75 speed with ball. Curry speed, these. as of right now, they don't even have his template. So I think his template probably going to be something you have to unlock. They don't have a LeBron James template, and they don't have a Steph Curry template. template. They don't have a Michael Jordan template. So, like, the old, like, Ooh, them template might be crazy. We oh my goodness. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, dog. I'm thinking it's something up with these templates, bro. Like you gotta unlock them. If I gotta unlock something, shouldn't it be like a little powerful? Like most when we think about video games and we thinking about unlocking shit, you know what I'm saying? Now they got the AD template. I don't know if you I don't know how you like him, but I think he should be coming up soon. But if, I'm, if I got to unlock a template, that motherfucker should be a little better than the free templates. Six five, I would probably throw him in the B tier. Only being six five, but not being able to handle the rock, but also not being a great defender, definitely lands him in the B or even maybe the C tier. On the Marcus Smart, another two way build coming in with a ninety five perimeter defense and eighty. Marcus Smart got an eighty three acceleration. <laughs> okay. 95 perimeter. This thing got an 83 steal. He got an 82 three ball. I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna be fair. I think 2K is not doing y'all dirty with the templates. I just think that you better make sure you 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 sure about what the fuck you want to do. My nigga, <laughs> my nigga said all he want to do is shoot, get a board. <laughs> Play some defense. I, I, look, yo, type one if you think the templates are trash. I think there are some you stay away from. And I think there are some like you could actually do something with. What y'all think? I don't think all of them are trash. Because you got to understand, y'all, you can't get everything. And I, th I just think y'all still stuck on that, like, you can't make a 2K23 bill in 2K24. So it's not that they're trash. It's just that you can't get everything. You got to pick your fucking parson. I just really think that's the whole situation. A lot of us is like, they on this shit trash. It's different. It's a different system. Might need some tweaking. He still has an 82 three-point rating. Has a decent, you know, below average playmaking. But he is a two-way build. And he yes. handles rock when he needs to. It's definitely seems. below average finishing. I would go ahead and put him in a low A tier. But just because he could play defense, he definitely deserves his spot up there. On to Clay Thompson. Coming in with a gold limitless range at a 92 He said, no, nah, my G, they trash. <laughs> a 90 mid-range. Definitely an elite shooter. With that, he gets enough. Hey. You know what I think gonna happen? When people start making their bills, I think when you show people what bill you made, I believe we all gonna call each other bill trash. Because we used to being able to make something like a 6-9, and we used to being able to do everything. Motherfucker was making a 6-2 and having an 80 driving dunk and getting the best animations. Motherfucker was able to get silver limitless takeoff. Motherfucker was able to get a uh, a gold agent three, uh, um, Hall of Fame limitless and not maxing out this shit. So I think a lot of us finna have some bills that niggas gonna be like, what the fuck did he make? You feel me? Playmaking to handle the rock when he needs to distribute it, and he has an 87 perimeter defense, so you play some defense out there. Having a solid frame um, at 6'6 six, six with a 6'8 wingspan, I think he deserves a spot in the high A tier. Mikel Bridges, another solid frame coming in at 6'6, six, six, has all around average finishing, but really good shooting. 
80 ball handle, but the defense 89, perimeter defense 83, steal rating while having some pretty oh. solid speed and acceleration for a 6 6 build. I would go ahead and also throw him in the A tier. Jimmy Butler coming ah, out with the 89 steal, gold interceptor with the 87 perimeter defense, 79 3, 80 drive. Like, bruh. Like, look at this. 75 acceleration. And the reason I keep picking on acceleration because that's how we're going to speed boost. In order to be able to create offense in 2K, of course, you know it's going to tie into speed boosting. I wish speed boosting did not exist in 2K the way that it does, but of course, it's here. So I got to I got to home in on it. So a 75 acceleration, what the fuck I'm going to do with that? Am I speed boosting through... Answer this, y'all. This is something we need to figure out. Are we speed boosting through animations or through attributes? One for animation, two for attributes. We need to figure out what is triggering these animations. Is it going to be the attributes or, the, or it's going to be the animations? Or am I making sense with that? Because if I'm speed boosting through ball handling, then I don't give a fuck what my acceleration is. But from what I know, I need acceleration to speed boost, and I'm hearing that the animations is also tied into the ball handling. Oh. Because if you think about it, to get the badge called speed booster, you have to have High ball handling. And yes, stamina definitely matter for fast feet, those um old head. In order for them to get that Hall of Fame um fast feet, they have to have 99 stamina. Yo, twin, this shit is complicated, man. This shit is complicated. I don't know. Maybe I'm making it complicated. It's just a lot of things, dog. Like twin. We seen a lot of bills with around 83, 84, 85 acceleration. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it makes you feel like when what, what speed gonna be like twin for what I'm seeing? Don't know. You don't need a 99 acceleration. If if the damn near, if if the bills are averaging around 85. Mm. If you're not finna, hey, and listen, and facts, I 100% agree with that. If you're not finna take your time to make a bill, this shit right here gonna save you a lot of fucking hours and a lot of headaches. Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you motherfuckers have to take a lunch break to make a bill in 2K24. I guarantee you, motherfuckers gonna be making a bill, taking a full fucking lunch break, and then go back. To start again to figure out. <laughs> Man. Having dunk with an 85 driving layup can handle the rock and definitely pass that rock with an 80 passing accuracy. Another solid frame coming in at 6'7 definitely deserves Bruh. a spot in the A tier. On the PG 13, some solid, really solid. I ain't gonna lie. 2K Lab needed to drop videos starting today. <laughs> I can't wait till they get started, bro. Hey. Nah, and see. Oh, bro. Real shit. Real shit. And let me say, let me say that out loud. Once again, if you go to your favorite YouTuber and copy his bill, you asking for trouble. You asking for trouble. Remember, y'all, you don't get the badges for free this year. So if you copy my bill, remember, you have to earn the badges. Your play style might not allow you to keep the badges that you go firm, form in my career. So, man, I don't know, bro. Well rounded oh. finishing, some oh, solid no, shooting, bro. and handle the rock with an 85 ball handle, has a 91 perimeter defense while being six. Might look at Paul George. This build look fire. But then I come down and look at the physical, I say, 
Am I going to... Man, this bill, this bill right here is perfect until I get to physicals. So I'm asking myself, I know who Paul George is. I know what he represents. He got a 65 shrimp. Can I play with Paul George with a low acceleration, but I got an 85 ball handling? You see what I'm saying? Yo, type one if y'all understand my frustration. He got an 85 ball handling, but he got a 74 acceleration. So it's the animation going to allow him to speed boost and then use his shrimp, which is 65. I don't know about that shit. I'm, that's where I'm confused at. When I see these niggas with low acceleration, I get confused because I'm saying, okay, he got a high ball handling. So is he gonna have gold? If he's gonna have gold or silver speed booster, what you need for gold speed booster? Let me go look right quick. Let me go look and see what you need for gold. I told you I'm ready to make my bill. I got these bitches on speed now. Gold speed booster require. Uh, where is that gold speed booster? Gold speed. So, oh, he need a ninety-two. See it? Oh, okay, so it's. See what I'm saying, y'all? It's acceleration and speed with ball. So it's ball handling and speed with ball in either speed or acceleration. Man, what the fuck, bro? Oh, man. Listen, bro. Shit. So if you ain't got a 92 ball handling, you already out of the fucking loop. So you're going to have silver. So you're gonna have he gonna get silver, man, nigga. What the fuck, bro? This nigga ain't even getting gold. Oh hell no, nah, man. I don't know. Shit. So if I man, what the fuck? No. Nah. Yeah, I don't know, bro. <laughs> man, two K on our fucking neck, bro. These people really done made a game that we finally can't figure out in five minutes. Man, what the fuck, bro? Eight. I think this is this build is well rounded enough to go ahead and go into the S tier. You have to remember you're gonna have Paul George dribble moves, which will be a big yeah, advantage while being an elite <laughs> perimeter defender, Damn, all bro. at six eight and can score at all levels. I would actually go ahead and put him above Trey Young. Right I ain't gonna lie, bro. Silver badges might be the only way that you get by with an all around build. Like if you're trying to go for all around, you're gonna have to go with silver. It's no way you're gonna be trying to get gold. It's no way you finna go say I'm finna get some Hall of Fame badges and some gold badges. You fucking out of luck. You're not about to get gold and Hall of Fame badges. So the only option is to get some decent gold, say for your main category. Like if I'm a playmaker, my main category will probably be gold, and then everything else is gonna have to be silver. It's no way you finna get Hall of Fame, man. You fucking done, man. Right under Jalen Brown. Brandon Ingram, another solid frame. 6'8 with a 7 at 3 wingspan. An elite mid-range rating. An elite. Yo, we just got some breaking news. Brody said there is a way to play in New Zealand tonight. Said Bash Blood just dropped a video and saying that you can play in New Zealand tonight. Today is Tuesday. You can play in New Zealand on Tuesday? You can play in New Zealand on Tuesday, my G? I don't know about that one now. Tuesday? Nah, nah. If a motherfucker found out the way to fly out the country and play on a Tuesday, I'm finna fly to them, my nigga. She ain't sign me up. Man, she's... Everybody finna fly out the country. If we flying out on a Tuesday, now nah, I can wait Thursday and Friday. But a Tuesday? Man, I'm not finna wait no motherfucking three, four days. Shit. Let, let me find out motherfucker flying out on a Tuesday. 
Stay. A layup rating. Ball handle at 85. Uh, Some below average defense, but he does have solid physicals and he even gets strength. Some post control to work the post with. I would definitely put him in a high A tier. Now, Michael Porter Jr., 6'10". That play ain't going to be crowded with motherfuckers. That's musty. <laughs> Hey, these gonna be on that, man. They better have some AC. Cause we gonna pack that bitch up. And his jump shot is looking buttery smooth off the catch and shoot with an 88 driving layup and 83 driving dunk. This nigga got an 85 vert. <laughs> that got them auto Porter, Michael Porter Jr. is jumping, boy. An absolute elite. You know, can we be honest? Another thing that 2K doesn't do too well at balancing, and that's vert. I would like to see people that have high vert jump higher than motherfuckers with 70 vert. You know? Um, I would like to actually see that play out. You know, I don't know, is that too deep in the physics? But I, I would like to see if 2K able to. He said, that's a lie. You feel like they do a good job with the vert? Um, not in my opinion, big dog. I don't think they do. I don't think the vert is is. I think it's another one of those things that they, you know, it's tough to do, in my opinion. Cause I I know motherfucker was jumping out the gym with a motherfucker seventy nine eighty. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker was jumping out the gym, and then you got motherfuckers that going over there getting eighty eight ninety vert, and they still jumping about the same. Like they they got a motherfucking six nine. He ain't got no crazy vert. But that nigga be snagging. Close. My lockdown. He ain't got no crazy vert. But he be snagging. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they put more into the rebound than then they do the vert. So hopefully we see vert actually show up this year. Oh. Mid range, but he is 6'10, so he's gonna take that dip on Spiro Ball. Oh. That's all right, defense with some interior defense. I would say a solid scoring on top of his jump shot. He would hey, fit he his way into the AT on the Jalen Brown. Another 6'8 <laughs> with solids. Oh, y'all saying y'all saying they lying by giving that nigga uh Porter Jr. um 85 vert with his fucked up back. Solid shooting, solid finishing. And handle the rock with an 80 ball handle. He gets perimeter right. defense. He go another bill that will be crazy in my eyes. But I'm sitting here saying to myself, okay, Anonymous, you making your bill, pull up your chart. Okay. Okay, I want speed booster. I want unpluckable. Or you need a 90. My nigga, I forgot. All... Man, nigga, I forgot all about unpluckable. My nigga, you need a fucking. 80 to get it on silver. You need a 92 to get it on gold. I ain't none of these niggas getting that. Ooh, boy, boy, boy. I ain't, we ain't seen one bill that getting gold unpluckable. Every one of them was silver or below. Nigga, man, this shit ain't. Oh, my God. Yeah, bruh. And he said only six six and under guards getting gold. Kyrie had it. So hold on. So you telling me for all my G's in here that were saying they're going to get a 6.8 PG or a 6.7 PG, you telling me you willing to risk not getting gold or Hall of Fame unpluggable in 2K24? Let me make sure we clear. You telling me you willing to play 2K24 as a PG with, with silver unpluggable? Boy, you got some cojones on you. Boy, y'all got some shit. You, must, you ain't heard of the fucking news? They got a badge called Right Stick Ripper. A badge called Glove. On top of everything else that they got in the fucking game, you willing to go out there and play PG with a motherfucking silver unpluggable? Man, you're going to be like 2K23 all over again in the beginning. Your ass going to get ripped, ripped to shreds. Man, ain't no way I'm going out there with no silver unpluggable, bro.
I gotta have a 92 fucking ball handling or an 80, plus, 80 post control. Man, ain't no goddamn way on playing 2K24 with no motherfucking silver or birds unpluckable. Man, you gotta be, you gotta have some nuts on you. <laughs> some steel and Shit. even some luck on this build Boy. all around solid physicals he You're definitely earns his spot in the high a tier you now tough. going on to the big man builds on the power forward paulo benchero 610 power forward has some solid scoring mid 70s three-point rating has some interior some perimeter and a 79 defensive rebound now he does miss out on that silver rebound chaser as a 610 only having bronze rebound chaser i'm gonna go ahead and throw him in the b tier on the aaron i'm gonna tell you right now Y'all know I don't bullshit. I would never let y'all blame 2K for your fuckery. And I'll help you blame 2K when they own the fuckery. When you in my chat, you can't blame 2K for your mistakes. That's my rule. Anonymous do not tolerate blaming 2K for your dumb shit. If you out there getting whipped by a lockdown with Hall of Fame pickpocket and right stick ripper, the first time you say, man, they ripped me. Get your dumb ass out of my chat. Did the wrong chat. See, I blame 2K when they don't fuck shit, and I blame the community when they don't fuck shit. You in my chat, all of my these lockdowns, but won't let you breathe. Don't come telling me. Don't come anonymous. What you think about the defense? I think it's just fine, play what? You the one out there with that motherfucking Birds and silver unpluggable running around letting lockdown smack you upside the head. Where you going? 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 Uh, hey, hey, don't look over here. I ain't saying nothing to him. He talking to you. She, I got unpluggable on gold hall of fame. You feel me? He talking to you. You better see it. Don't say nothing. What you got? I ain't saying shit, nigga. That's him. That's y'all too. That's y'all too. Y'all deal with that. Lockdown, I ain't saying nothing about you, playboy. That, that nigga, he don't want to put on unpluggable. He want to go with the weak. He want to go with the weak unpluggable. I ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Got that's all business. What y'all got to going on is what y'all got going on. You know, what I'm saying? it's a post control eighty or ninety two. My nigga, I just said that I didn't misread it. What point guard is putting no eighty post control? Come on, G. I didn't misread it. I said eighty post control or. Uh, um, a uh, 92 uh, um, ball handling. What point guard is putting on post control? My nigga, come on now. I'm gonna take some of you motherfuckers to the short bus. What the fuck I'm doing putting on post control with my nigga? I'm out there 6 2. What it look like? Oh, I want Motherfucker, come on, get him locked down. Get him. He don't need this motherfucker put on post control. Come on, man, come on, get that. What? Come on, G. Come on now, I'm not putting on no goddamn post control. I don't need to work in the post. <laughs> Man, the fuck I look like putting on post control on my point guard. I ain't come down here to post a nigga. So you saying you saying you're gonna get your so so let me let me hear you out. See this how we're gonna stop the fuckery. Now correct me if I'm wrong. And listen. Listen, it ain't no hard feeling. You know, we just talking shit. No, don't take it personal. I don't take it personal when y'all beat up on me because I be reading them fucking words incorrectly. Let me ask you this. Ray, you going to create a 6-6 six, six and up your post scoring? Yes or no? I'm asking Ray. Ray, are you going to create a 6-6 six, six point guard? No, my bad. 6-8 six, point guard. All right, so play, play along with me right quick. Answer this question. Are you willing to create a 6'8 point guard? Are you willing to create a 6'8 point guard and put up your post scoring so you can get unpluckable on goal? Are you willing to do that? I'm waiting on Ray. I'm waiting on Ray. Come on, Ray. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me. Of course not, my guy. All right, let's keep it moving. Hey, he Come on now. Let's come on now, y'all. Go to 95 driving dunk and 90 standing dunk, getting some post control and 83 point rating. So you're definitely a scorer. He has enough ball handled <laughs> to protect the ball, but I don't know if he could dribble. Hey, hey, Ray said, of course not. That's dumb. So that's why we didn't even mention it. <laughs> you feel me? 
or create some space with the ball handle. Has high 60s rebounding and block. He's a legit scorer. I'm going to go ahead and throw him into the high B tier. Now, Draymond Green having a mid 70s three point rating, some below average finishing, a really nice 90 pass and accuracy, 87 oh. interior, 87 perimeter, 80 defensive rebound, but he is 6'6. Six, six. He can't really handle. Yep, yeah, from, from what I'm seeing. I'm thinking if you're going big man and you and you use some templates, I'm definitely picking AD or Joker. It, it's no other way around that. Or it's the template bills, but y'all will see it in a second. Handle the ball too well. You can do it a little bit as below. No, okay, okay, okay. Let's make sure we correct that. Let's make sure we correct that. We're talking about from the point guard standpoint, though, Pat. Pat, I say PG. Most PGs are not looking to boost up their post score. Like, why would I risk up in my post score? My, my post scoring, my bad. Let me get this right. Why would I risk up in my post control just so I can have another way to score? I say PG, that's not my job. You know, it would be creative. Like, yeah, it's creative and it's an option. But let's keep it a buck, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be a point guard trying to work in the paint. It's a good idea if you want to go create some content. But, no, nah, man, because you got, why waste it? You know you have a less attribute points this year. Why waste it on something called post control when you're a PG? It's nine times out of ten. You're not doing nothing out of the post. So you'll be wasting attribute points, dog. Come on, big dog. Oh, now, average finish. The mid-range game will be deadly in 2K24. The mid-range game, the mid-range game will be deadly in 2K24. Yes. The mid-range games will, will be deadly. Uh, for post scores. For post players. For, for, for faders. <laughs> Appreciate the love. Thank y'all. For the people that fading in the mid. For the people that are able to cook up and get to a mid and take a good shot. Yeah. But the way that I'm thinking, and it just could be my mindset. If I'm a point guard, I'm not going to get post score, post control to get no unpluckable. If that's the case, I just make my ball handling high enough to get it. But that's just me, though. That's just me. I'm going to go ahead and say stay away from a 6'6". Six, six. That's guarding other power forwards that could be 6'10". He's not an elite shooter by any means. I'm going to go ahead and throw him in the C tier. They're just... I ain't going to lie, though. Running the pick and roll. Running the pick and roll in the mid-range area. Don't be nasty. Listen to what I just said. Yo, appreciate the love. Thank y'all for the support. Running the pick and roll from the mid-range, not from the three. Gonna be nasty. Running the pick and roll with a fading point guard. 2K said that they boost the fades from midi and lowered it from three. So running that pick and roll fade game, pick and roll pop, or pick and roll slip, or pick fade, gonna be nasty. Mark my words. People like statistics, gonna be nasty. You know what I'm saying? People like who else? Who else is really good in that mid mid area? I know Tarsino. People like Tarsino running that pick, pick fade, pick slip in the in the in the in the mid range area. Ooh, gonna be nasty. Y'all can get ready for that. Gonna be nasty. Now the thing about Tarsino is where we always can count on. He gonna play around. See, one thing I can count on Tarsino to do is to have fun. Tarsino having fun means that it's a chance he'll lose. So if Tarsino is on his shit and he's not playing around, you going to annoy him. Huh? Ooh, annoy him huh? going to be nasty. Oh, my God. See, and, dog, man, the mid-range game going to be nice. I already can see it. I already can see the peoples that going to elevate. I'm going to even take my game down a little bit to the mid because I, I, I understand what 2K is doing. 2K is trying to limit the effects of people spamming threes. Nobody want to play around. Nobody. 2K is trying to create basketball. 
first of all, do we understand that? Type one if you understand it. Fouquet is disappointed at how we play their game. I don't need to talk to nobody to understand this. I can look and see. They don't like the fact that we we shit on the game with just spamming left, right threes, left, right fade, run to the three-point line, run to the paint, wide open dunk, don't take it, run back out, take a three. 2K is tired of that. They want us to play basketball. And see, because of their want benefits people like me. I want to play team basketball. I want to be able to call plays. I want to be able to call plays and tell my post score. I want to have a center that able to, to get in the paint. And then I say, hey, let's run it. Let's run the offense through my post score. Him get to the high post and have him. I got ideas. I got plans. I'm going to be playing 5v5 this year. I got ideas. I got plans. I got, this thing going to be fun for people like me. Like, if you want to play basketball, I think this is our year. The motherfuckers that don't do nothing but live off of exports, I think they're going to hurt. I think they're going to hurt. I actually think, film nation, this is our year. This is our year, bro. <laughs> Let me not get too excited. I'm just saying. Now, like I said, from what I'm saying, dribble guys going to eat. I'm not going to lie to you. But, but if the defense is working, I think we're going to be okay. But I think CM Nation, this is our year. I think we can play basketball from every position, from the mid-range, from the three. I think you're going to be able to see niggas get on the low block. I'm excited to see niggas. Man, I mean, I've been doing good not saying the N-word. I'm excited to see people get on the low block and create offense through their 5v5. I can't wait to see the 2K lead this year. And my boy Claw will be going for the 2K lead. So y'all already know we're going to be heavily invested into 5v5 pro -M. It's going to be crazy, man. It's going to be crazy, dog. This is going to be a fun year for competition. This is going to be, you're going to see centers. I guarantee you, you're going to see point guards. Yo, appreciate the love, grateful. I guarantee you, you're going to see point guards running plays through their centers. You're going to see anonymous do it. Cause that's how strategic I play the game of 5v5. The only thing about 5v5 is um, it's been unbalanced, you know, and you ain't been able to see people actually thrive in it. You've been seeing people getting away with just being a, cor a corner sitter or, or a hand sitter. Now, I think the game is going to be more detailed, more involved. You're going to see a lot more pick and rolls, uh, but I think other people are going to be able to participate. You know, that's what they want to do. Now, of course, everybody ain't going to want to participate. Some people want to be able to just, hey, hey, can I wipe the sweat off your face? Some people are going to be that. But I think if you want to participate this year, I think you can have a post score actually running plays through your offense. The way that the game is set up from the mid-range area, and then when they start double-teaming your post score, you can have them slip back door. or you can. It's going to be nice. It's going to be nice, y'all. I'm excited. I'm so fucking excited, man. I can't. Can I play the goddamn game already, 2K? Goddamn. Why y'all ain't give me no motherfucking copy of 2K? Y'all gonna do your boy like that? What have I done to y'all? Nothing. All I do is love on y'all, and y'all just spit in my goddamn face. I'm such a nasty boy. Okay, I'm tripping. Listen. Listen. I was thinking about me and my girl last night. I got carried away. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's continue. Is it much of a point to have that high of a passing rating and that short of a power forward? Now, Jaron Jackson Jr., 80 driving dunk, 81 standing, 83 point rating. As you know, below average oh. passing accuracy for sure, but definitely. Hey, he's still on tweaking. On okay, I'm, I'm good now. I'm sorry. An elite defender with that tweaking, cool God, anchor, 93 block, and an 80 interior defense, 71 perimeter. But I just wish he had some better rebounding. Definitely a good defender, can score, can definitely shoot. I just wish he had some more rebounding. I'm going to go put, ahead and put him in the high B tier, but definitely an elite defender. Cameron Johnson, a 6'8", 70 driving and standing dunk, but has an elite mid-range and a pretty solid three-point rating. This man can definitely be a solid off-ball shooter. I'm not going to lie. As a power forward, I don't think this is a bad bill. What y'all thinking? As a power forward, now, as a power forward, 
That means he, you know, he's the backup help. Um, I like that 86 three ball. I do. 70 standard dunk. He got a 94 mid. 68 pass accuracy. Remember, we know big men, they can't get a, you know, it's decent. I'm not going to, let me, let me slow down. It's decent. It's decent. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just, I'm thinking about how I play. That, when I look at these bills, I'm thinking about how I play and how I want my power forward to be, you know, I like it for, for my team, the way I play. I, I, would, I would be okay with something similar to this, but of course we're going to tweak it. You know, my nigga, you do not need no 91 close shot. We already know how 2K is. You know what I'm saying? We know the close shot is broken. If you're using your layup meter this year, 2K going to give you a crazy boost. So, but I like this for the way that I play it. Of course, I think we'll take the mid range down a little bit and try to, you know, get a little bit uh, more defense, you know, some rebounding. But like I said, y'all, this the power forward. Now, we're not taking this motherfucker um, into the pro end. This motherfucker going to wreck. Probably not even wreck, goddamn. You know what? Fuck this nigga right here. I'm sorry, man. We ain't fucking with you. Yo, Cameron Johnson, take your shitty ass. He going to the D-list. You know what? Fuck this man, man. We ain't fucking with him. Hey, hey you might be in the chat, man. Listen. If you, if you ever watch the content, man, what's up, brother? Listen, we don't mean no hard feelings, dog. It's just video game shit. But we can't fuck with you, my G. You going to the D tier. Send that nigga to the dungeon, man. Decent defense with a 75 interior <laughs> and a 75 perimeter. I'm going to go ahead and throw him in a high B tier. No, man. Put that nigga in the D. Put that nigga at the bottom of the list. Now, Laurie Markkinen at 7 <laughs> foot has a 70 passing accuracy. So he has enough to pass the ball. An 82 three-point rating while having an 80 standing dunk and a 75 well, see this okay it's hard to judge dog i ain't gonna lie because listen y'all the big man's once again not gonna look how they looked at in 2k23 they're gonna look similar to this if you want to be an offensive big man you're gonna have to take a hit in defense if you want to be a defensive big man you're gonna have to take a, take a hit in shooting or finishing this shit is changing. I don't know how to stress that enough to y'all. The game has changed for the better. Boss man, you are 100% right. We don't know what we need. We don't know the thresholds. I agree. We don't know the threshold. But I guarantee you, most builds going to look similar to this. If you want to be an offensive threat and you want to finish, then you got to take a hit in defense. If you want to be a defensive big man, you will have to take a hit in finishing or shooting. It just is what it is, bro. Physical is not going to look crazy this year. Big men are going to move like big men. Your little fat ass should not be keeping up with my little po ass. I'm weighing 100 pounds. You weigh 200 pounds. I should be able to be fasting. I, I didn't eat last night. You did. I think I look like I got them with the eight nothing but air. I should be moving faster than you. You feel me? It should be a difference. You know what? That's I'm in, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with y'all. I haven't talked about it uh, uh, that much. What y'all think about the fact that 2K is going to allow us to work out for the body type that we want? Boy, I ain't going to lie. Y'all pushing the envelope. Because that's right there is some fucking amazing shit. You're not... I ain't gonna lie, 2K. That right there is fucking crazy. That's like some some open world type of shit, you know? Like that right there is kind of fucking crazy, though. Yes, that's confirmed. You actually, I think they said they have three body types that you can go work out, and then you also can choose and type. Um, you can choose something. I can't remember, but yes, you can work out for a body type. But man, that's that's fire. That's fire. That's fire, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It gonna I, I I mean, hopefully they go farther with this in 2K25. Because that right there can actually set the tone on another skill gap. For people that don't want to go to the gym and practice. 2K, 
How about y'all actually also do this with tendencies? 2K25, 2K26. How about if people don't go to the gym and work out, if they don't get tendencies to go up? Set the tone in a whole nother. That's what you call creating a skill gap. My bad. The, the 2K community is probably shit or brick. The 2K community are probably shit or brick. But that's a skill gap. That's how you set the. That's how we go forward with this. Like when we when you start introducing body types and going to work out for it, pushing the envelope. And, and, and guess what, 2K? You notice the community is not opposed to it. They like it. So that means we can actually probably start to test it. Man, I like where we're going. I love it. I love it. I love the idea of you earn your body type. You go to the gym, and guess what? Mentally, mentally that might translate to actually real life. So I like the idea. I like the idea. I love it. I love it. Love it, man. A driving dunk, a 98 close shot. Again, he is seven foot. He can rebound the ball with an 82 defensive rebound. He is a little bit slower, but he can really do it all at the <coughs> seven foot height. So I'm going to go ahead and throw him in a low A tier. Now, Evan Mobley coming in with the silver anchor, 85 interior, 87 block, 82 rebound. Has a 73 point rating. We're going to have to see how that plays out. 85 standing dunk while with an 80 driving dunk. I would go ahead and put him right. How many people mold their players after power forwards? versus centers. I feel like most people choose to mold their character after a center versus a power forward. I never hear too many people going to the power forward spot to make a bill. Now, I have seen in the past, some people do go that route, but not too many. Like my G right here, say he do it. Mm, interesting. Right next to marketing. Pascal Siakam, a 6'8", all around power forward. I usually see small forward, they'll make a power forward out of a small forward, or they'll go strictly center. You know, so it, it's going to be interesting to see how the small forward get treated in 2K24. You can handle the ball with the 80 ball handle and shoot with a 76 three-point rating. I think that is a very good threshold for spot-up shooters. Can finish at all levels, even gets post control. Some average defense, but it definitely is still there. I can see this build being... Hey, I fuck with this dude right here, y'all. Um, man, I love his game. Love his game, dog. Love his fucking game, man. Love his fucking game, bro. Fucking love it, man. Salute, man. I'm, I'm happy he got a ring, bro. Um, you know, man, it's not a lot of people that, that puts in that work and they don't get the glory for it. He don't talk much. He don't be in the media enough, you know what I'm saying, that much. This nigga right here is a dog, in my opinion. You know, I, I fucking love his game very usable having a tough time to put them in the high b or low a tier i think i'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the low a tier carl anthony towns with an 86 strength and 86 defensive rebound 75 interior has a pretty low see look at boy boy y'all fucking with towns you look i knew y'all wanted me to say his name i know it bars fuck you bars you ain't shit bro you just want to be a homie man Bars, you've been fucking with me all these years. You still trying to fuck with me. I knew y'all wanted me to say his name, dog. <laughs> um, y'all ain't fucking with Towns? And then got a 90 mini, bruh. This a popper. I'm just. <laughs> Yo, this ain't y'all popper? <laughs> hey, hey, Towns. Man, we ain't fucking with you, Towns. We ain't fucking with you, Towns. Man, you gotta get some goddamn. Uh. He got a 75 interior. He got an 86 defensive rebound. Uh, he got an 86 strength. 97 stamina. Man, I ain't gonna lie, though. That standard dunk got a 90. He got a 94 close shot. Mm. <sighs> I don't know, chat. I mean, I don't know. Y'all ain't fucking with him? Seven feet? block for being a seven foot power forward but his scoring is 83 point rating with a 90 standing dunk uh, and an 86 post control Pair that up. yeah i mean he got an 86 real 
They got an 86 shrimp. They got a, uh, a 75 interior defense. That's, I don't know. That's kind of low, though, for him. With a 94 I don't know, close shot, he's a very good inside defender, but you it still have to respect bad. his shot. Not the best interior defender. I'm going to go ahead and throw him in a low A tier. DeAndre Ayton, another 7-footer with a 90 standing dunk, a 95 close shot. Has some driving dunk and post control. Only a 73-point rating. I don't know if that will be too respectable with a 60 passing accuracy. Does get solid defensive rebound. I would go ahead and throw him in a B tier just because of his shot not being too respectable and his defense not being elite. He also can't pass the ball too well, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw him in the B tier. Now, Anthony Davis actually like his NBA player template a lot. He can finish at all levels, the 73 point rating again is a little wishy-washy, but he does have a 70 ball handle to get a little frisky and can definitely protect the ball better than a lot of other bigs. And his defense, 85 interior, 87 block with an 86 defensive rebound. I'm going to go ahead and throw him in around a mid A tier. I think he can definitely be usable, even a higher A tier. We just have to see how that 73 point rating works out and if it's respectable enough. Now we got the glass cleaner, Andre Drummond with a 92 standing dunk, 80 driving no not no real shooting attributes like that a 68 passing accuracy which hits him hard then an 80 interior defense has really good rebounding a lower block and he is slower i would throw him in a high b tier but he is a solid build with his rebounding just him not being able to shoot at any level and him not being able to pass the ball up the court to push the pace is kind of messing with me now nikolai Jokic, 6 11 he is a little oh, oh, slower but there you go. Let's see. So what we got? Well, I forgot an 89 midi, 90 post control. Boy, I know the boy gonna get freaky with that. That boy's gonna get nice in that. Uh, he got an 80, an uh, 80 driving layup, 95 close shot. This probably the best center build by far. But at the same time, he come with restrictions too, though. Let's act like we don't see it. This motherfucker got a 92 pass. I got. Damn, boy, whoo wee. That motherfucker gonna be throwing steamers as a big man. He come with, see, this is what I respect. Even though this is by far the best template build as a center, he still come with some restrictions. He still come with some limitations. I fuck with the system, dog. I fuck with what 2K got going on. I really fuck with it. No matter how good, this is what I say it come down to a preference. At the end of the day, it's come down to your preference because each bill has restrictions. Each one. Each one has a restriction, dog. I'll fuck with it. His pass and accuracy is a 92, an 83 point rating. We know that got to be respectable. 90 post control, so we can start working in the post. An 89 mid range with the 86. Hey, check this out though. Can everybody hit the like button on the YouTube right quick, man? If you haven't hit the like button on the YouTube screen, could you please hit the like button? For everybody that's watching on Twitch, if you don't mind, could you go over to YouTube and hit the like button on the live stream, please? Thank you. Defensive rebound, definitely a pretty low block, especially for the center. But I think his other attributes make up for it. I'm going to go ahead and throw him in around a mid A tier. Now, Sabonis, mm. I think his template is very solid. 7'1 height with a 7'1 wingspan. He has a 90 post control, Ooh. a very wealthy 82 three point rating, an 83 pass. Damn. So, y'all, which bill y'all like him better? Here's a Jokic. He got a better defense than Jokic. I mean, he get better rebounds. Look like he got better defense, too. He's slower. The shrimp about the same. This one, he got a 90 mid, 82 three ball. He got a 98 close shot. Damn. <laughs> Shit. Once again, it's a preference. Hey, can we give a hand clap to 2K, y'all? We're going to get on 2K ass when they fuck up. And we're going to show them nothing but love when they doing the right thing. Man, bro. Inaccuracy mm. with having that 90 defensive rebound. Now, again, he...
call him the dollar store. Let's have a low block for a center build, and he Y'all is stupid. a lot slower, but he can score at both levels, and Thanks, he has a boss. solid pass accuracy, so when he does get that defensive rebound, he can push the pace. I'm going to go ahead and throw him in a mid-A tier. Last but not least, Miles Turner coming in at 6'11 with a 90 interior defense, some perimeter, a 92 block rating, 86 defensive rebound, mm. but he is a pretty slow for a 6'11. His Damn. shooting is pretty wealthy and can finish inside. Well, that ain't bad if that motherfucker had a little better pass accuracy. Man, if you can tweet, hey, for an all-around build, this is a better template for me and what I like. So a lot of the templates that y'all are looking for, they're going to be earnable. So we're going to have to unlock them. So in my opinion, I think they're going to be far better I think they're gonna be still restricted, but I think they also are gonna be, you know, probably decent because you have to unlock them. I mean, I don't expect him to have high speed ball. Why is your center taking the ball down the court? You know what I'm saying? That's just me though. My center, <laughs> they trying to if you trying to get blocked and banned from the screen, and, and you know. Yeah, you take the ball down my, on my team. A center dribbling? <laughs> yeah, you won't be playing that game. <laughs> yeah, you gonna get your motherfucking ass off my friend list. Um, <laughs> but once again, y'all, these are just templates. You know, these are just like you know what I'm saying. Like if you want to use a template, you more you know than welcome to. Um, me personally, I think I'm gonna make my bill. Um, I hope I don't fucking get more gray hair than I already have for trying to make a good bill. You know what I'm saying? So it's just going to be very interesting. Um, yo, type one if I can ask you a question. Type one if I can ask you a question. Type one if I can ask you a question. Uh, type one if I can ask you a question. Okay, I see a lot of ones. So, um, if you haven't looked, yo, appreciate the love. So, if you haven't looked at the time, we've been live for five hours and seventeen minutes. Uh, what I need y'all to do is go hit the like button on my boy video, which I'm about to show you in a second. Um, okay. So, can y'all please go hit the like button? on NBA 2K Labs video. Once again, shout out to NBA 2K Lab. He was in here earlier. He said he was at work in here watching the game, watching the screen. So, man, you know, this is what I tell y'all. A lot of people fuck with me. You know, they just, sometimes the way that I do content, it's a little too much for, you know, people to they say, hey, Anand, you, you know, we, we watching. You know, but sometimes they, they, they slip up and type in the chat. <laughs> so, man, Shout out to all the people that, you know, work with 2K and still choose to, you know, sometimes check out my content. At the end of the day, I ain't never trying to disrespect or trying to create no drama for nobody. I just have to stand on what I stand on and what I believe in, you know. Um, 2K is doing a phenomenal job. I want to give them props for it. But um, we still ain't going to accept that paid season. I don't give a fuck if it's for cosmetic or a nosmetic. No, no hair product, none of that. We not gonna, my, we at, at, over here at the Six Game, we not gonna stand by that because we already spend so much money on 2K 20, 23, 24, and the game haven't came out yet. I'm pretty sure we're gonna spend more money or, or around the same, uh, which is a, it's, it's more than enough. Uh, but it's a part of the show where I gotta head out, you know, and go pick up my daughter from school. But before you leave, please don't leave yet. Before you leave, I want to play a video for y'all, you know, and I just want to, you know, throw something in your ear, you know, maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't, but don't leave yet. I got to go pick up my daughter from school, but I want y'all to listen to this video um, as we head out. Thank y'all for the support. I'm truly grateful that y'all gave me um, your ear today. I had an amazing time as we always do. We always have a fucking good time. We talk shit and we enjoy ourselves, you know what I'm saying? But once again, make sure y'all go drop a like on NBA 2K Lab video, amazing video. Um, so let's listen to this, and then we're going to head out, y'all. Thank y'all for the love. Truly grateful. So, yeah, so first talked about getting... Um, so, just in case, y'all know who these men are. 
they have said some things because I want to address this because a couple of people said, hey, man, why the fuck you listen to this weird ass dude? No. There are people in life that may say some things to hurt your feelings. Don't always mean that they're wrong. Though. Sometimes they sometimes evil people have good messages. I say this about Elon Musk, Bill Gates. Um, Dr. Fauci, you know, they have done some horrible things, but at the same time, they also have gave some gems. It just choose how you look at it. There are people that do me wrong. Sometimes I may still take their advice, you know, but, you know, at, at the moment, they probably been a dummy wrong, though. So before you go, yes, these are the guys from Fresh and Fit. I'm not going to let you see them and that like that because I don't rock with them like that. But they, he said something that I wanted to show my supporters. So could you please just listen for a moment, and then I'm going to leave y'all to be. And we're going to come back probably later tonight and play some NBA 2K23. I'll be in the stage. Let you motherfuckers know that I'm still that motherfucker. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all, let's listen. A mentor, investing in yourself, etc. cetera. Uh, you know what I'll do? Because we talked about this ad nauseum, right? I've told you guys a million times that you need to get a mentor. If you even want to, if you want to start a side hustle, or whatever, because that's going to cut your learning curve down significantly. So let's go ahead and talk about how to go about this. Okay. Versus telling you get a mentor and then just moving on. No, we got y'all over here. After that. I'm going to tell you exactly how to do this. So number one, you're going to have a real job and or career. Step one. Okay. I don't care if it's cleaning toilets all the way to some executive position. All right. You're going to have some type of job, whether it's skilled or not, whether you have a degree or not. That's going to pay you money so that you can go ahead and pay the bills. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to work that job. All right. You're going to take that earned income because we all have to go ahead and trade time for money at some point. You're going to go ahead and take that job. With that job, you're going to make some money. You're going to do your best to live way below your means. You're going to be a minimalist. I need you to be like me, wear your fucking same clothes all the time, uh, have, you know, nothing too fancy. And basically Same save ninety percent of your money, right? Save as much of your expense of, of your expendable income. Keyword: after your bills are paid, the expendable income that you left have left over, you save that. Okay, you're gonna save that money, and as you work this job and you save that money, you're going to also do independent research on a side hustle. You understand? Okay, so you're gonna be working your job during the day, then you're gonna be saving money, then at night you're gonna be on the internet researching side hustles, whether it's YouTube automation, it's Amazon, it's drop shipping, it's uh, content creation, it's um, being a manager, social media, whatever the hell you want to do, you are researching it actively. You understand? Keyword actively, motherfuckers, while you're working this re regular job. Now, once you figure out what you want to do, let's say, for example, it's like, I want to do YouTube automation. This seems pretty cool. Um, I want to do this, right? You go ahead and you find a mentor, right? That does that, whether it's you saw the episode with Dave or you find someone else because there's a bunch of people that do uh, Dave, uh, um, YouTube automation. You're going to go ahead and list out every single person that teaches this stuff from the scale of one to ten. And you're going to go ahead and do maybe a free consultation, maybe join one of their free um, uh, masterminds, etc. Because a lot of the times they have free workshops, right? Yeah, I'm giving you all so much sauce right now. With these Internet marketers, they have free workshops nine out of ten times, which is typically an upsell. Go ahead and join into those free workshops and figure out what they're actually offering and what they're willing to teach. Okay. Then I want you to compare prices and see who's the best. Uh, what's the best ROI bang for your buck? Who offers the most value? Look at reviews, research the hell out of that person. Okay. Trust, but verify. All right. Once you have your eyes set on a potential mentor, you have the money saved up. You're still working your job over here. Now it's time to actually pull the trigger, right? And jump into that course. Now, it's very important that you understand that once you spend the money, you need to spend time and you need to pay attention. That's why I tell you all the time, pay for a mentor. Why? Because when you pay money, you start to pay attention. All right. Once you do that, take the teaching seriously, go through the modules, apply what the fuck they teach you. A lot of you guys will go ahead and. Once again, I expose, I did an exposed video on this guy before because of what he said about the black community. Once again, I tell you, you may work with some people that don't give a fuck about you, but if they send some real shit, you have to take that. A lot of times, y'all, we want to we wanna home in on the, the shit that people say that we don't like. I feel you. 
But what he's saying right now, y'all, is very important. Very important. Please understand that. I wouldn't bring it to you if I didn't think it was important. So feel how you feel, but let's take the message. Fuck the messenger. Anonymous don't always say things the right way. But you still choose to take some of the message I say. Take the message. Leave the messenger. Please. Get a coach, etc., and they'll tell you do X, Y, Z, and you guys will only do Z, or you only do Y, and you wonder why you're not getting the X, Y, Z money that you should be getting. It's because you didn't do X, Y, Z. You only did Y. You only did Z. You only did X sometimes. No, it's got to be all the fucking time, all right? So, again, recap on here. <laughs> We tell you guys find a mentor all the time, but no one actually tells you how the fuck to find a mentor. So let's go ahead and go through it. You work. Like I told y'all, I'm going to say it again. I was not a big fan of Kevin Samuels because I did real pimping. And I felt like Kevin Samuels came to the internet and tricked people like he had that kind of juice. And I could tell niggas that got that juice because I lived that life for a long time. But I got my first man back because of Kevin Samuels. When I used to go with females' house, I used to go unprepared. When I first heard Kevin Samuels, I said, you know what? Shit, I'm going to get me a man bag. I got my spray. I got my shaving. I got razors. I got fingernail clippers. And I started preparing myself as a man because these were things that my father wasn't able to teach me. Maybe his father didn't teach him. Sometime on the internet, you can learn something from others. I may not be the most educated. I may not be the coolest or say the words correctly. I may misspell, I may mispronunciate, but I'm, I, I just try to share what little that I learned in the world. I had a mentor, y'all. I still have a mentor. I got a mentor in Mississippi, and then now I have a mentor in, in Florida. I like to get around great men that can help mold me so I can come and share some of the gems that they give to me and give it to you. So, Sometimes my mentors say shit, man. I be like, man, who the fuck you think you talking to? That's what I say in my head. But at the same time, when I realize and I look around at my life, he exactly right. Sometimes I put myself in a position that I'm in. Yeah. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's you. It's you that holding you back. It's not the people that you saying, man, they the reason I can't get no will. Man, they the reason I can't get no will. Sometimes it's you. Sometimes you the reason you struggling in life. Sometimes you the reason you're not where you need to be. So just listen. And then I'm, I'm going to leave y'all be. I'll be back tonight. But just listen, please. If you can take my 2K content, take this from me. You know, it, it hurts my feelings sometimes that y'all will come watch me talk about 2K all day. But as soon as I want to show you some real shit, you say, all right, I got to go. I'll be like, damn, how did I help him? I made him laugh, but did I help him learn something? Did I, did, I, did I teach him something? I gave him some 2K knowledge, but he didn't let me get to the real shit. He left too early. Come on, man. Regular job first. You take that earned income, right? Whether it's trading time for money or you have a skill set, you're I don't give a fuck if you're a doctor, you're cleaning toilets. You're taking their earned income, okay? And you're saving a good portion of it. Anything that's expendable income, that means money that's left over that you can use on yourself. You're not buying Rolexes, you're not taking pictures on trips, you're saving that money. I don't give a fuck if you're a doctor making 300k per year. You're saving that fucking money, okay? Living way below your means. I need you all to be look look like you're damn near homeless, all right? You make guys make fun of me all the time. I already get some new drip, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not going to fucking do that shit because I'd rather save the money and invest it back into the business, all right? The only people that have drip are the fucking retards with the saliva dripping out their mouth because they're idiots and don't understand how money works. Meanwhile, everybody over there in the mirror is laughing at your retard ass niggas. Do oh, drip, drip, drip. No, that's a bunch of stupid fucking idiot shit. Stop being a slave consumer. Save the money. Once you have the money saved and you have a good amount there, you're independently doing research and figuring out who the goddamn best people are in this niche okay i recommend get the best person if it costs you ten thousand dollars so fucking be it spend the money because i know when you spend the money you're gonna spend the time and you're gonna start to pay attention people only pay attention when they pay goddamn money that they worked hard to get okay 
Once you get this mentor hired, uh, and remember, before you get that mentor, you're doing research. You're going there masterminds. You're talking to people that have taken a course. You're looking at referrals. You're not just going ahead and hiring anybody. You're getting the best and you're independently researching and making sure they're good because I need you to feel comfortable with whoever the fuck that you pick. All right. Once you pick that person, you pull the trigger, you pay the money, and you go through all the fucking modules. You go through the entire course. You figure out everything that needs to be done. Then you go ahead and you start your fucking LLC and you start the business. But the thing is, a lot of you guys think, I'm just going to buy this course. I'm going to figure this out. No, you fucking idiot. You need to actually apply what the fuck did they teach. X, Y, Z. Not just Z. Not just X. Not just Y when you kind of fucking feel like it. You need to do everything. A lot of you guys that fail when you get a mentor is because you don't do everything that you're supposed to do. Do everything that's required and then you will go ahead and get back the benefit. But if you don't do what's required and you only do what feels good, then you're not going to get the fucking investment back that you spent the money on. So you need to actually take the action and work really fucking hard after the fact. And keep in mind, you're still working a regular job. You still have your social life. You still have all these other things going on. Guess what's going to happen when you start the side business? Oh, a magical thing. Those bitches and those dates and all that social time that you used to have, it's gone now, nigga. It's gone. It's gone. Because as soon as you spend that money, you no longer are going to do all the fuck shit that you used to do when you had your regular job. Like I told y'all before, this isn't for everybody. Are you prepared to sacrifice? You want to really be an entrepreneur while simultaneously having your other job? This is going to be the hardest part because you'll be working a regular job, 40, 50 hours per week, and you're going to be working on your business. Are you prepared to make the actual sacrifices? A lot of you aren't. Let's give it a thousand. A lot of you guys just want to sit there and be an entrepreneur and do some bullshit on the side, not make any money. It's not a business. It's a fucking hobby. So ask yourself, look in the mirror. Are you really ready to do this? Are you prepared to cut off friends? Are you prepared to not go on vacation? Are you prepared to sit there and go to your real job with one hour of sleep because you're building your business all oh. fucking night? Woo! That hit different. Woo! One hour of sleep. Hit different. I was. That's how the fuck I did it. I told y'all. I was a federal agent arresting fucking criminals while simultaneously running a fucking fitness business. I had no social life by that time. But it's okay because I'm here now because I made that sacrifice. Are you ready to make that sacrifice? This is what no one is going to fucking tell you. How do you actually go about getting a mentor? That's how you fucking do it. You work your real job. You get your side hustle. Please get a mentor, y'all. It's critical. It's critical. Sometimes a mentor tell you things that your family afraid to tell you. It's nothing wrong with having a mentor. It's nothing wrong with having somebody that 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 uh that you believe in that can help guide you and mold you into a, a decent path of what you call life. Sometimes, man, we need somebody other than family and friend. And and listen, a family member could be a mentor, but find a mentor. A mentor can do wonders for your life. Wonders for your life, man. Like I said, I'm on my second mentor. I, I miss my my first mentor. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm from the hood. A mentor, man, you don't get that stupid ass shit away from me, dog. Man, the fuck you talking about, nigga? I'm a grown fucking man. You know, at 17, 18, I don't need no nigga to tell me what to do. And I started learning and start understanding what a mentor was was, and I was like, okay. Damn, it's actually pretty cool. Fuck, it's some fun shit. You know, taking my mentor out to eat. You know what I'm saying? Surprising them, popping up on them. Hey, man, you know, being able to give back to a nigga that is able to inspire you to do better with your life, it's a great feeling, man. Being able to show them my hard work. Like right now, my mentor, I ain't been able to go to the gym with him because I've been working hard on my business. You know what I'm saying? So I've been like, man, you know, I got, I'm finna go live. You know, I'm a man. He, hey, guess what? I ain't out there fucking around. I ain't out there popping pills, doing drugs, drinking all day, partying all night. I'm working on making sure my family is in a better position, making sure I'm in a better position. And I'm still getting the fitness in. You know, I'm still looking good. I'm still looking good, you know. But I'm just saying, though, man. A mentor can do wonders for your life. Salute, man. For y'all that would miss the beginning of the screen, please go check out the beginning of the screen, please. Salute, man. Shout out to my G. Say he's been sober for four years. If you missed the beginning of the screen, please go back and hear that. 
I told you some real things about me. Please go back and listen to the beginning of the screen. Please. Very important, man. You ain't going to regret it. I got to go pick up my baby girl from school, man. Thank y'all for the support. We'll try to be back here tonight for some park stage gameplay. But if not, y'all know I'll see y'all in the morning. Thank y'all for the love. 2K24 is right around the corner. Guess what I'm going to do? Beat y'all motherfucking ass. Yeah, especially you Xbox niggas. <laughs> You're going to get this work. Xbox, don't be mad. You know what the fuck it is. It's the PS4. Oh, my bad. I forgot. Y'all ain't even got no news. I'm sorry to my PS4, homies. It's PS5 versus Xbox, man. Let's fucking go, man. I'll see y'all tonight. If I don't come back tonight, we'll be definitely be here in the morning. Hopefully some news come out tomorrow because we didn't get none today. So 2K24 is coming out in 48 hours or some type shit. So we got a, we got a little more news that's supposed to be giving us. So hopefully we get it tomorrow. I know they got that event in New York. So I'm expecting great things. Salute. Thank y'all for the love. I hope y'all have a great day. Protect your energy. Stay in school. Respect your parents. Please respect your parents. Respect your parents. Go to school. Get your education. It's vital. Please. Salute. Y'all have a blessed one. I'll see y'all back here later tonight. If I don't come back tonight, I'll be back tomorrow. Thank y'all for the love. Truly grateful.